RazorMikeZaps.com with an iPad app review for Shell Razor. Load up your big bad turtle with a variety of 12 battling champions as you wreck your way through the Goblin Kingdom, destroying everything in your path. All right, to get in the gameplay tap on start, you can have more than one game going, and there's iCloud Sync to have your progress saved on multiple devices. Head over to the arrow, and we're going to do a loadout phase before getting into the action. There's our turtle. We have three levels for weapons, as well as the blacksmith up there who is helpful. He repairs your weapons, and you can have them or not. I have three weapons. I have a shotgun up top, a cannon in the middle, and a single shooting gun on the bottom. The enemies come out from the right side, and you're scrolling from the left side towards them. You can see your progress up top. This is a very nice game. Slick Entertainment, the developers, boast 50 hours of gameplay, and this game only sells for 99 cents. Huge value. Not just that, it is also uh, universal, so it works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. The object is to get to the finish line, and you shoot by holding on the weapon you want to turn it and aim it, and also, or to activate it rather, and use it, and then on the right side, you're going to drag your finger around to aim it, so that's how you do it. At the end of each level, you're going to get champions unlocked, as well as food items to use for your turtle. You can upgrade your champions, you can put the food items at the bottom, you can see you have so many slots for both, band-aid, different kinds of ammunition, and so on, and you just keep on rolling through. It's a large game, it's got a lot of levels, and it's pretty challenging. Again, there are in-app purchases, but I haven't used any money through in-app purchase, so it's a great value in my opinion. You can always play it over. Now you see I got the blacksmith up top working. You can drag him onto any weapon and he will fix it. There's the cart guy with the TNT. You gotta be cautious and use your head. I can just suggest that you make sure you use all of your weapons and uh, you'll find that the, the you're gonna have to get some strategy down because moving your fingers quick is a little different. The way the controls work on this, they're a little unique. Not bad, just unique. So at the end of a victory, you're gonna get some spoils. In this case, we got a watermelon food item. We also unlocked a champion, Curtis the War Mage. Again, all of these can be upgraded. Here's the track that we're going on on our yearly path to crush the Goblin Kingdom and get to that female turtle over there. And that's it for this iPad app review. Fun game, recommend it. Until next time, see ya.